Hey guys, what's up? It's Katie and I'm back with another Marvel Contest of Champions video and today we are going to be looking at all of the boss fights for this month's uncollected event quest, Samurai's Journey. Now, uh, the short short version of this, yes I'm in jungle print because of course Tigra, why not, right? And the second thing is now the first couple bosses, they're old champs so I'm not going to spend a lot of time with them and I actually don't spend a whole lot of time uh, breaking down Tigra or Hitmonkey who are the two new champs for this month but stay tuned because later on i will be going in depth uh an in-depth breakdown of both tigra and hitmonkey in two separate videos so if you're looking for information for that you know just wait a little bit and uh videos will be coming out of that soon all right so let's get into it shall we so the first boss that we come across is venom the duck and the main one of his nodes that i want to point out is this get the, the rich get richer so basically whichever champ has more unique buffs is going to gain nine percent of a bar of power every second the more power he has he's going to gain fury uh, precision and if he's at three bars of power he's gonna gain, gain cruelty excuse me now with all of the uh, node interactions he's gonna gain his buffs very quickly so bringing in a mystic champ to nullify or a heavy hitter is a good option all right so the second boss that we come across is Yondu with tech ascendancy so you're going to want to bring in a tech champ for this fight and the reason for that is because te cha tech champs increase their attack by 40 percent now cosmic champs increase their attack by um i think it's 25 percent and then mutants decrease their attack by 40 percent so not that you really want to bring in a mutant here regardless but you also want to make sure that you bring in a bleed immune because he does have bloodletting so his bleeds are going to do way more damage which is why i brought in sentinel here now he has arc overload and indomitable so you can't reverse heal him you can only heal block him so sorry your voids aren't gonna work but warlock would be a great option for this um really anyone who can um isn't gonna get a bleed on them uh even iron man infinity war he's got that heal block and when he has those armor ups you know you can't bleed him so uh, those three are probably your best options for this fight. Now, this can be a bit of a long fight here, so that is why I sped it up. Um, but like I said, he also has Orc Overload and um, Armor, but overall, not a hard fight. All right, so the next one we come across is Ronin. And this one, out of all of the old bosses, is definitely, I think, the most difficult. And the reason for that is because he's got power shield and he's got pull which i think pull might be a new node i could be wrong but pull is projectiles do a hundred percent more damage and non-projectile hits do 75 percent less damage he's also got rap uh, matador rapid metabolism so he's gonna shrug and he has masochism so name of the game here is because he has power shield only your specials are gonna do damage so bring in champs with projectile specials now um his i think his special one is easier to dodge than his special two but i've kind of i'm not quite used to rodin specials still i don't fight him all that much <laughs> so this is kind of a sloppy fight but domino is a good option havoc havoc would be another great option storm pyramid x anyone who's gonna do projectile specials and is going to do a lot of damage off their specials is where you want to go here now matador you want to bait out those specials because that's the only way you're going to gain power now striking him is going to allow him to gain power which is good but try to bait out as many specials as you can to get to whoever your champ brings whichever most damaging projectile special they have so you know domino hers is our special too storm pyramid x special too uh havoc Havoc, you could do special one or special two. Any one of those chances are really good options for this fight. All right, so now we're on to Hitmonkey, who is the newest of the two bosses. And he's got uh, no hit mercy, so he gains a cruelty buff each time he is knocked down. So if you don't knock him down, you don't really have to worry about that. And then he's got, oh, oh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. Did I say that right? Did that translate right from monkey language? Anyway, basically, any uh, any champ is treated as a merc when he's below 35 percent health now with hit monkeys abilities you do not want to bring a merc in here so sorry domino you're not going to work out all that great here or maybe you will i don't know um so basically he's going to activate both his assassin's cunning and primal rage he also has safeguard so bringing over any champ that does a dot is going to be super beneficial rolling thunder special one bias and feats of power now feats of power venom the duck had that as well so um, 
but you definitely want to bait out his special one. It's pretty easy to dodge. His special two can be, uh, let's just say I would probably not be the best to dodge it. Um, it's pretty difficult to dodge, I'm not gonna lie. Tigra could potentially do it. So if you have a Tigra, she could potentially be an option here. So, um, but you're gonna take a look at it right here. The special two is coming in. It's pretty cool. It's very much like John Wick Punisher-esque. So I like it. I, I do like that special two off of Hit Monkey. But overall, he's not a hard champ to fight. Okay. So now we're moving on to Black Widow Clairvoyant with Curse of Death. So at 20, at 20 Clairvoyant's charges, she gets the death touch. So don't get hit. Um, and then she's got imminent Clairvoyant. So every three seconds, she gains a Clairvoyant's charge, meaning she's gonna hit that 20 relatively quickly. She also has Burden of Might, Shifting Immunity and Enhanced Special 2 and Recovery, which makes sense for the recovery with Claire with the Enhanced Special 2. So now Red Hulk. Red Hulk is like my go-to when fighting Clairvoyant, but really any champ that can put, that, uh, you know, can hit pretty hard is, is going to do well against her. The Shifting Immunity is going to be a little bit difficult to work around, but if you can work around it, then you should be fine. All right, and now we're moving on to Tigra. And she's got feline ferocity, so both her primal and huntress uh, senses, the duration of those is increased by 75%. She's got power snack, and I thought this was this is pretty funny, and it interacts with the node, uh, another node too. So every seven seconds, the next buff triggered by you is immediately nullified, and she gains 50% of a bar of power. Now, this works against power draw, so whenever you inflict her with a damage over time debuff, you get a power gain buff, increasing your power rate by 10% for 10 seconds. So those two nodes kind of cancel each other out and it actually more or less works in Tigra's favor. She's got Bane of Dumbala and Life Transfer as well. So any science champ is gonna murder her or any power control champ. Now Red Guardian is great for this fight because he doesn't gain buffs. So you don't have to worry about that power draw or power snack node. So, but overall, she's not a bad champ. You definitely wanna bait out those special ones. Here I tested out the unblockable feature of uh, Red Guardian, but I messed up there because, um, yeah, I tried to hit her <laughs> when her special wasn't over. But any champ, any science champ is gonna work well. Uh, definitely do not bring in a cosmic when it comes to Tigra. But anyways, guys, that is it for all of the boss fights for this month's uncollected Samurai's Journey. Let me know in the comments below, what did you think of this month's uncollected? Uh, how did you find the new champs Tigra and Hitmonkey to be? Who did you use on them? Who do you think was the harder boss? Was it Tigra? Was it Hitmonkey? Or was it that Ronin? <laughs> Let me know in the comments below and let's discuss. As always, guys, thanks so much for watching. If you guys liked what you saw and you want to see more, please remember to like and subscribe. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter and hit me up in the Discord chat. Thanks, guys. Bye.